session where they ran 15 seconds off the clock before you guys fouled. What what exactly was was your guys' defensive approach on that possession, and and why the foul take take as long as it did? Well, we were we didn't trap the ball early enough, but we did trap the ball and we did foul. But for some reason, he didn't want to call the foul on Giannis. We fouled Giannis. Two guys touched him. Two guys pushed him before he released the ball. That's a foul. Same play on the other end on the court. Russell gets fouled in his arm, misses the layup. Would have tied the game up with 26 seconds left. He didn't want to call that foul either. Those are fouls. We we got fouled and we tried to foul. Neither of them was called. But you know we we lost the game. You know they they beat us fair and square. But those are two big plays. You know, everybody knows. Everybody knows you're trying to foul Giannis when he has the ball. Neil. Uh, you don't, you haven't used your challenge too often this season. When Chris Middleton got that foul against Denny, did you have any thought to potentially challenge that? No, we needed the, we needed the, the timeout, and plus, I thought I thought he got it on the elbow. I, I I saw a look. And then at halftime, you had gotten a technical. I guess what was some of the frustration you were expressing? I don't want, I don't want to get into what I gotten frustrated for. I, I know what I see, and I know what they see. You know, they didn't they don't see the same thing on that last play with Russell again. Hey, Russell, but, Russell is an attack yeah. player. He's been an attack player his entire career. And he's a strong athlete. I know he's hard to referee. I, I get that. He's a strong athlete. Just because he's strong, you should not he should not have to be get hit. He should not have to worry about that. He should be getting he should be getting two free throws. Ava. Um, Scott, apologies if you've addressed this, but you guys, aside from the tough result, did a lot of things right tonight, a lot of things that you talked about wanting to do. What do you feel like was most impactful? Um, Rui. Rui, he came out. He came out with an edge. Rui, uh, if, I, if I coach another 20 years, which I hope I don't, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna find a nicer person to coach. He's. He's. I mean, he's one of the, the nicest guys I will ever meet. We're lucky to have him be a part of our organization. But with that being said, he has to have that edge on the court. You can be the nicest guy off the court, but have an edge on the court. I. I'm not saying I was a a, a a nice guy, but I was pretty respectful off the court. But I play like an animal on the court, and I think. With how he played tonight, he he can't have four or five games in a row and wait for it. He has to go get it, and I'm proud of him because he's he's been struggling. We don't want him to only take five or six shots. We don't want him to do that. He should be taking 12 shots, 13 shots. I know there was 23 or 24 more shots available tonight, but it doesn't matter. He still should be able to get those same type of looks. It's it's a mindset, and he, like I said, but the thing about Rui and I sometimes I forget because he's so mature and. And he's so under control that he's he hasn't even he's played how many games now, Chase? Not even 82 games yet or close. Um, but yeah, he's he's the way he played tonight. We need, need that we got 35 more games of that. And obviously, Russ had a, a huge output, another triple double. But um, can you speak to his effect as a tone setter from the first quarter? Yeah, I mean, he 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 impacts the game. And, and, and the thing that I, that I, I put him in a lot of tough lineups and I don't, I, I don't care about who's on the court with them. And I know he, there's a lot of tough lineups and a lot of, like you can look at, I don't even know what his plus minus is, but I, I know he can handle that and he can, he can fight through all that. And that, that's the, that's the thing I love about him. He doesn't care who he plays with. He just wants, he just wants four other guys that are going to compete. And I thought we found a, a group out there that, that competed throughout the night. I mean, they, they're, that's a good team. I, like I said, this team, they could have easily, I don't know what, I mean, they're right there. They could have easily been in the NBA finals the last two years and they have a great chance. They're championship ready. They got a lot of very good veteran players that have been through a lot of, a lot of, a lot of ups and downs in this league, but we competed against them and, and Russell was a big part. He, he willed this, 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 uh, this game. And, and we had a chance to, to tie the game with 26 seconds to go. And that's sometimes when you down uh, one of the best players in the league and, and DB, 
Uh, and that's, that's sometimes that's all you can ask for is guys that can compete. And, and we did that tonight. I'm proud of them. I don't, I don't believe in moral victories. I don't believe in that, but I believe in, I believe in, uh, honest effort. And I think we gave an honest effort tonight. And unfortunately we didn't come away with the win. These are one of those games. These are one of those games. I've been on many of them, the other side that somebody has to lose. It's unfortunate. That's why you play the game. That's why you love the game. And that's why you compete for the game is that somebody has to lose. And tonight we, we had to lose just because one of us had to lose. Ben Standing. Hey, Scott, you uh, changed up your center rotation. I think you said something pregame about just wanting to try to do something different and, and uh, prevent uh, points in the paint. Just curious, what did you think about um, how that went tonight? Yeah, I thought we did a pretty good job. I thought, I thought um, Alex was, uh, was active. You know, this is a tough team. I mean, they got put. Think about all the the the, the pickles they put you in. They got one of the the best attackers in the league that has these two or three steps that he gets to the basket, and then they have a, a three point shooters all the way around the floor. And you have to make tough decisions. I thought I thought our bigs. I thought Alex did a great job of making some of those tough decisions. And then he and then he got the ball and finished. I thought he got fouled a couple of times and he and he got to the line, but that's how you have to play. You got to finish strong and be quick on your on your catches. And I thought he did that tonight. I I, I liked his effort. Ben, coach, how do you adjust your game plan on the fly uh, with Bradley Beal out against a team like the Milwaukee Bucks? Uh, that's what you do. You 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 do it. You do it with no excuses. I didn't. Nobody in this locker room. Uh, knew that that, that was going to be the case on on um, on Brad, but nobody in the locker room had an excuse and felt bad, uh, sorry for ourselves. We got we got to keep fighting. Next man up. Uh, it's not it's not ideal, but it's 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 uh, it's we always do what's right for the athletes. Uh, whether you're the one of the best players in the league or a player that's just trying to make the team, uh, we always do what's right. I don't believe in any other way. And Brad, it was right for Brad to, to miss this game. We'll see how he feels tomorrow on the next day and make that decision. But our guy stepped up and, and played big. Ruiz obviously was big. I thought Denny, Denny grew up tonight. I mean, that was a tough call at the end of the game, but that's an all-star player that it's hard. And, and he's one of the best in uh, one dribble, two-step pull-ups. And, and he stops on a dime. And it, it, sometimes when your hand's in that cookie jar, you get caught. And, and he did. He hit him in the elbow, but that's those are those are all growth plays for, for uh, for Danny and Rui. You're playing against all-star players. You learn something by competing against them, and then they they respect you by competing against them. Scott mentioned specifically that he thought your mentality was different tonight. Talked about how he thought you were you were super aggressive from the start. Uh, what do you think changed to make that happen? I mean. Um... I feel like, you know, um, it's just, I've, I know, I know I have to be aggressive, you know, every day, every game, you know, I'm trying to be aggressive in the offense, but offense side, you know, on offense and defense side, but, you know, it's just like, today was just, you know, um, Brad was out. So like, you know, um, I knew, you know, I'm the team, actually the team need to score. So that's why I was more, um uh confident in myself you know I, I gotta be the guy you know on the call the offensively and defensively i feel like i don't know that i don't think that i changed anything you know and everybody knows like you know i i play that, that the way i play tonight is like you know that's why i've been doing it you know it just um it would just you know that this pass couple games like you know it was just you know as a team like we didn't like you know play you know we couldn't play together that's why you know it's just I, I feel like it's nothing different it's just like it was just you know yeah I don't know how to say it but yeah thanks Rui Neil Hey, Rui, you had all of your 29 points in the first three quarters. I know the fourth quarter, you know, you had the one shot that almost went down. Was there anything different that the Bucks were doing in the fourth quarter? Um, or how do you explain not being able to score then? Uh, the, 
I think the fourth quarter is the most important, you know. Um, we are, we are, I think, uh, down or up by one or something after the third quarter. And uh, I think we're in a good position, you know. And uh, I think they they got the lead, but we came back and, you know, we needed a score. And uh, I, you know, I couldn't make a, any shot, but, you know, I think it was all good looks and, you know, that's I feel like the next step for me, you know, I got to make all those kind of shots, you know, in the fourth quarter. And you see Ross, you know, in the fourth quarter, you know, he get he gets more aggressive and, you know, he makes all those shots, you know. Um, that's why he's he's all star and uh, that's why he's there right now. So that's I got to look up to, you know, and that's why I think that's how I feel like my next step. Ava. Really, um, how do you feel like you guys recreate the kind of extra edge that you played with tonight? You said you feel like nothing was different with your game, but how do you make sure you kind of bring the same uh, emotions or whatever every every single night? You know, I feel like those all the games, like three, four games, the past three, four games, like we just, you know, they didn't beat us. You know, I feel like we just beat ourselves, you know. So tonight we came by with a good energy, you know. Uh, the last, last game we had a bad loss but you know we just you know switch the uh, uh, gear and I feel like we, we our mentor was good from the beginning you know we played together defensively offensively we helped each other and but we lost the game so you know I don't know what to tell but you know we I think the, the whole the whole game was you know we played I think pretty good how much easier does it make it for you to be aggressive when Russ starts out playing the way he does from the first quarter. He was super aggressive and, and scoring early and often. Does that kind of make you want to also play more aggressive? How does that affect your game? Um, you know, him, like he always, you know, he always be aggressive, you know, no matter what, you know, he come, he come out, you know, every night, you know, he knows what's his job. Um, and Brad's know what's his job and stuff, but I think we're all, other like five guys, six guys, I don't know, but whole team, like, you know, other team, like other guys, we have to, including me, like we have to figure out like, you know, what's our roles. And that's why I think we get, you know, when we were, when we had a great round, uh, like, like last month, you know, we had, we won like a 16 or 7 0. I think we are playing together and uh, we are, we knew like what's our roles and stuff. So that's why we are winning. So I think we got to get back to, into those mentality and I think we're going to be in a good shape. You've talked so much about things that you've told Rui to be more aggressive and take charge and that kind of stuff. On a night when he's kind of going the way he does, how do you see that aggression manifest? Where does it come from with him? Um, I'm not sure. You know, uh, my job is to want, when I do see it, to make sure that he's put in position to be successful, make sure that he's um, staying aggressive for 48 minutes because it's not easy to do that. Um, you know, for a whole game. And that's the challenge for him is to make sure that he can consistently can can do it on a night in, night out basis. And uh, he's able to do it. My job is to make sure I continue to put the pressure and instill confidence in him to, that he's able to do it at a high level. Ava? Russ, this was a starting lineup I believe we hadn't seen before. Obviously, you set a lot of the tone, but what do you think um, made you guys play so well together and just kind of mesh so well? Um, I thought we played hard. And, you know, I think the basketball stuff, missing and make shots, it will happen. But when you play hard, you give yourself a chance to uh, win the game. Um, I thought we did that from the, from the get-go and didn't dig ourselves a hole. Um, we was in the game the whole time and, uh, you know, had a chance to win the game, so. And we asked really how you guys kind of replicate that spirit or that edge that you played with. He said it's just getting back to everybody knowing their roles. Is that something you're seeing as well, or what's your perspective on that? Uh, I mean, you know, it's a combination of that, but I think that the first part is just playing hard. You play hard, uh, you know, the talent and all that stuff that speaks for itself, but just playing harder than the other team is something that got to be our identity when we uh, step on the floor. Thanks, Russ. I love your glasses. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Russ, you've been a 80% free throw shooter for your career. Um, I'm curious, can you attribute anything to your struggles so far this season, or do you think the law of averages will eventually work out? Uh, I'm going to figure it out.
Thank you very much. Uh, Russ is done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'm wondering. Let it, um, it be a good one. If it ain't. Well, know. okay. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Um, well, Rui mentioned not being able to score in the fourth quarter today uh, as being the next step that he needs to take on offense. Um, what does it take for a young player to be an effective scorer in the fourth quarter when the defense is clamping up? Um, consistency. You got to read the defense, um, find ways to be effective. Um, and Rui can affect the games in different ways. Uh, sometimes it may not be scoring. As a young player, you got to realize that scoring may not be the best option. Sometimes defending, rebounding, making plays for others, um, and sacrificing that, doing the best play for the team. Hey, Alex, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm just wondering, I, playing a, a three-center rotation is, is obviously pretty unconventional. I'm, I'm wondering what that's been like from your end as a player, kind of playing the matchups each night and going from, you know, 25 minutes to, to maybe not even getting minutes on certain nights. I mean, uh, I mean, for me, it's probably the biggest thing, just knowing, you know, it was, it was it, and I talked to the coach and coach said, like, look, just be ready. Some nights you're not going to play. Some nights you're going to start. Some nights you might, you know, play 10 minutes, five minutes. You never know. So just, you know, just try to stay as ready, you know, just so that and that's what I've been trying to do. Just on the sideline, just, you know, always staying ready, not playing. Uh, you know, just even sometimes letting him get, he, he'll put you in in the fourth quarter for a few minutes, just, you know, let other guys get some rest. So that's what I'll be trying to do, just stay ready. And, um, but yeah, in the, uh, in the league, you, you don't see it that, you don't see it that often, three, three big rotation. But I mean, we just gotta, we just gotta, you know, stay ready and make it work.